There's no better place to be, so don't you ever change the dial. What's up, everybody? It's Kavam Zasukwa, and you're watching Hello Nigeria. Etisent Nigeria, that means hello Nigeria in tree. Hi, my name is Amanda Potelwa. I'm from South Africa. Hello, my name is Mimi Akinkube. Hello, my name is Candace Nkotgisek. I'm from Cameroon. My name is Idoe Nenang. My name is Efo Ose. And the most interesting thing I found about Nigeria is the extraordinary hustling energy. And make sure you keep watching. Hello Nigeria. We do it all for you. We do it all for you. Sometimes I feel so down and discouraged like you do now. Dark clouds over the sky. of a Bailey who is not just a singer but a flutist as well and we're delighted to have her here with us on the set in Hello Nigeria. Thank you for joining us today, Ebele. Thank you so much. I'm Thank glad you. to be here. It's Great good. to have you there. I yes. really liked that video. I liked wow. the color. I liked the fact that there was a soft feel to the video. Yes. It wasn't loud and all over the place. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, a sooth it's a mood music. You know, it soothes your mood. You could probably play it in the background while studying or if you just want to relax. Relax. You know, it's really I beautiful. I was thinking about this while I was yes. watching the video. I'm glad of the flattering of the video. Yeah. <laughs> I like you. So right. tell us a little about, not, not a little, tell us about who is Ebele. Okay, Ebele is, um, okay, I'm known as Ebele the flutist, known because I play the flute, and um, that's actually my stage name. But my name is Ebele Izzy Amakam. I'm from Anambra State, and um, I grew up in Benin, <laughs> and I schooled in Enugu, where I studied um, accounting as my first degree. And I went further for my postgraduate as business admin. I started on the flute quite from a very young age, right? about 14. I was about 14 years old, I started playing the flute. So it's something that started from my childhood. And um, it was like an hobby thing, which I just love to do because I was exposed to a musical background where I have this Philippines people that came to teach us music. 
So I could, I could say I'm, I was inspired by the Philippine lady, actually. She plays the keyboard, she sings, and she plays the flute. And she just likes me because I have a very high-pitched voice. And looking out for something that could identify with my voice was the flute, actually. Mm. <laughs> so I, I said that the flute, and it just goes on like that. And I keep on going to school. I keep on learning more, getting better in it, just because I like to do it, and it was an hobby. You went to but, school in Nigeria here? Yes, I did. So there are schools for, to learn how to play the no, flute? No, we had, this was, it's actually a special one that we had the training on okay. then because this Philippines came to train us okay. on then. Uh, and then I was exposed both to my, my, my church choir then to I sing as well there. So, but the, the, the fluting actually, I think it came up more when um, I realized that the, this was not just an hobby. It became a very strong passion. Passion in the sense that even after I've graduated, did all my studies, and I started working, even as an accountant. I never stopped, you know, playing the flute. I just saw myself, you know, going for extra, trying to go for extra musical lectures, musical trainings on musical instruments that I keep on. And then I was still working as an accountant. And then, while, while working the accountant, that was when the passion came so strong. Mm. And I have to start. I have to choose which one do I want to continue. With really? That. Yes. There's a point where you had to choose. So, is um, are you now a flutist as a full time? Yeah, career? because um, because I was working as an accountant, and at the same time I was doing my musical career. I I, I was doing it more like I, I go to churches, I go to events, I go to programs because I'm a, I call myself a, um, a, a contemporary musician. Contemporary in the sense that I do all sorts of different genres of songs. I play jazz, I play classic, like what you hear now. And my latest single was just urban. So I was just going around like that. But then it was so strong on me where I was working. And I was working at oil firm, then as an accountant. It was so strong on me that I had to face the music. I was recording. I recorded, I had my, this is my song, for example, composed mm. and written by me. Mm. You know, yes, I wrote the song. I'm a songwriter, I sing, I compose the song. I was doing all this while I was work, still wow. working at a, at a while. But it was too much for me because it was too consuming. And then the passion was too strong. So I had to choose between because then I didn't really, I didn't really have people that supported me. I was going to talk about that. You know, okay. at that point where you decided that you were going to leave being an accountant in, in an oil firm, where you are guaranteed that at the end of the month you will get something steady yeah. every month. Oh, yeah. To go into something that you're not sure when the jobs will come, when the gigs will come. Yeah. How, how was your, you say you had no support. Let's talk about your circle. Friends, your family, how did they react when you told them you were leaving? Okay, I remember when, at that period, it wasn't really funny because um, even at, at, at the initial stage when I was learning the flute at that younger age, it that was another very funny experience because I used to live, I was in secondary school, and then it's a, when, when it's time for me to go for extra mara classes, I would dodge and go to then <laughs> go to this class. <laughs> so that was very funny. You know, I would dodge and go to these Philippine schools to go. And so my, my mother, my dad didn't take it funny. It was like, what nonsense, what nonsense. So I was always hiding. I think it was one day when they called for this uh, examination and they called our parents who were trying to, they want to test us on, it was an exam to give us certificates on what we'll be learning. And our parents were called and they said, my, you know, my parents were called, come and see this school your daughter always come to. And then they play, they put a Mozart piece for me to play. I didn't even have a flute of my hand. It was even the Philippines ladies' food I was using. <laughs> and I played the whole, the whole piece from the beginning to the end. And my father was like, Jesus Christ, where did she learn? At what age? At what age 14. Was that was when I got my first flute. So I normally tell me that I actually got my fourth flute at age 14. Actually, my, my dad has to order me a flute immediately because <laughs> he saw the whole say Jesus Christ. And he knew how he was always stopping me. Do you, have, do you have any mus musical genes in your family? Does anyone else no. sing or play the instrument? No, my dad used to do it. He, he, he does it when he was very young. Okay, when what did he play? He, he used to do <laughs> He does this, you know, this um, Asian tamon. Yes, yeah, harmonica. <laughs> yes, yeah. he would normally cut the tree. He would be doing it. Oh, and, and that's actually a gift. You don't get to see people who yeah. do that. Yeah, he does it when he was young and he loves music. But he never really, he was not really into it. Mm. And he, he liked it, he encouraged me when I was starting, but it was, he was getting very annoyed when I was taking it more than my studies. Yes, that, that, um, so that, that was an issue for him. But that day when he came for that exam at that age 14 and saw me play that thing, he ordered for a flute immediately. And then going to university, my mommy said no, she likes people that wear suits and she wants me in the bank, so I can be wearing suits. So that made me to accounting <laughs> and they thought they can actually, you know, remove this music thing <laughs> and all. Uh, but you know, like answering your question, I can say, working that firm, why I said they didn't support me, my, my, my boss did not support me. 
he was like, this flu thing doesn't work in Nigeria. Can't you see the people that does those things there in America, London, travel to London and go and do your flute. It doesn't work here. It doesn't make sense seeing you're an accountant and then you all of a sudden you want to now do music and then flute for that matter. So in has Nigeria, Nigeria really proved him right so far? Yes. I have proved that wrong because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in Nigeria, when we are gifted people, we have different kind of talents here in yeah. Nigeria. And when you know what you are doing, you push very well, you come out. I'm actually believed as the first foremost Nigerian female flute now. Yeah. And Amazing. be given an award for that, you know, recognized as a Nigerian for me. And he hears all that. So most of the time when they have the oil firm organization events, he always calls me to come Great. around, so come around perform. And I, I take my charges as well, you know. <laughs> we cannot let you go without having a feel of what your flute sounds like. We've yeah. seen it on TV. Now we want to feel it live. So for a few seconds, can you please serenade us okay. with your flute? Okay. And before Something that, how like people style. follow you on social media? Yeah, Ebele the Flutist. Ebele the Flutist. E B E L D Ebele T H E Flutist. Flutist. Ebele the Flutist. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Right. Yes, and I hope you're mentoring more women to go into A lot them. of them. I'm actually starting some training now. Okay. I already give out musical flute tips on my fan page okay. every Saturday. And it's part of the, the project I have now to have a school where I want to be training people. Good. Already, yeah. Good. Well Beautiful. done. Thank, Thank you. you. So please, take this. Would you describe that piece? A freestyle. Freestyle. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Except you have a particular song or maybe one of my songs. Do you have yes? Do you, you have a song that we could sing along to or just okay, you know, I so have, those well, watching out there can Yeah, I have one of my as, though it's on the dual language. Uh, okay. it's one of my songs. I think one of the video. songs that we all know. Yeah, I think so, because it's on the dual or and there's another one on Hebrew, there's another one on the dual language. There's okay. this one. Okay, probably let me just take one. Okay. <laughs> and you haven't contacted the Billy the Flutist, I don't know what you're doing because this is a fantastic soundtrack yeah. for a lot of our Nigerian movies yes. here. But thank you for joining us on Hello thank Nigeria. You, thank you, Billy. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.